Hey there guys and what is going on and welcome back to Area 32. So today guys I want to go over a lot of stuff. First thing, starting with Tyser X. A lot of you guys said Tyser X has been to my base and that makes me nervous. The fact that Tyser has been here means one of you guys is actually a rat and told Tyser where my coordinates were. But that's okay because it doesn't matter. Because I have the power of golems by my side and I'm going to be making defensive golems that are going to guard me using ranged attacks have tons of armor, have a mace, tiny fezes, of course. I'm going to make sure that they look amazing while they do it, and I'm also going to give them upgrades to do so with the guard golem core. Now, that's going to be done during the live stream tonight, guys, but before we do that, we need to learn how to do arcane infusion. Um, so, I've done a lot of research recently as far as the Eldritch tab goes, and I actually learned these void metals, um, which are not hard at all. You just need void seeds uh, mixed with metalum, and you get void metal ingots. Now, void metal is useful because I can make void metal caps, and eventually void metal is going to lead to some better things. And we're not going to get into that in a second, but we'll get into it in a minute. So, what what we're gonna what we have to learn to do to get to the point of making the golems is we need to learn how to do arcane infusion. The best way to learn how to do arcane infusion is to start with something else I want, which is these mirrors, which I have to locate, which I believe are under artifice. Here they are. And to make these, I need to do arcane infusion with three gold ingots, an ender pearl, and mirrored glass. I also need eider, uh, per permutashio, permutashio, permutashio. Yeah, that's it, permutashio. And then tembre. Um, and to do these, they basically allow me to teleport items through different regions. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we need. Now to get the aspects to the, um, the infusion altar, we need to actually bring them in jars. And that's why I made this room, which is basically a giant cooking station. So I'm gonna show you how it quickly works. It's really simple. So what I'll do is I'll put sticks in here to burn something. And let's go ahead and just throw in a piece of, for example, um, we'll throw in a piece of dirt and a piece of cobblestone and then a piece of silverwood planks as well. Um, so you can see all that's gonna drain out. We have, right here, we have some uh, terra. Right here we have some arbor, and right here we have some uh, perdicio. And you can see that's what we have in there currently. And if I were to put something else in here, let's just say a quicksilver drop, um, and we'll throw in like another piece of this wood here, you can see that we actually get um, more stuff in these in these current ones. And we actually have metal them stuck in the alchemic furnace, but that'll come up in a minute. So let's go ahead and just get some of this stuff out. So what we have to do is first, we need to open the valves that we already have. So we have uh, a valve for Terra, which is right here. So let's open up the valve and you're gonna see the Terra actually starts to fill this up. There we go, that fills up with Terra, then I can close the valve. Now the Terra is gone and the metal that was stuck in here has now moved up. Now let's open the next one uh, that we have. Do we have Arbor? We do, so let's open that up. You're going to see the arbor is going to... Oh, that's actually wheat. That's a different thing. Uh, we don't have arbor, but we do have everything else. So let's quickly open this one, see what we get. So this is the arbor one, and that should be every... Yep, there's only one that we had. We'll close that off. And now we have, in these ones, we have... Oh, did that empty it? It looks like we actually lost some resources there, um, which is interesting. I don't know why we lost some resources, but maybe it's in the piping. So let's see if we open this. Will this fill up? Oh, it will. It's in the piping right now. Okay. So let's close that. Let's open this one. Will that fill up? Yep, that'll fill up with the other one. Okay, so when it disappears from the pipeline, you just have to open up a valve and it actually will fill it up. Let's see if we have anything else stuck in our pipes here. We do. We had some more of this, but that should go over there. So why are you filling up here? Stop it. Okay, I guess we have two arbors now. Um, I'm probably going to replace that with the empty jar I have upstairs. We actually have more. What? Why didn't you fill that up? Why is it? Is this just going to be an infinite loop? Is this going to be infinite if I open this one? I swear to God. Don't give me arbor. Don't give me arbor. Don't give me arbor. Good. We're actually out now. So it seems like we accidentally duplicated some of these twice. So I'm actually going to go ahead and remove these jars for now. And uh, we're not even going to use these um, just temporarily. And I'm going to replace one of them with an empty jar I already have. Just because those are going to get in the way of my organization. So let's go ahead and just take this one empty jar I had lying around, luckily, and put that back. Oh. The only thing about this base is hard to get down these single holes. Uh, and we'll put this one right there. And I'll need to find a new one for that. Um, but what we need is we need to get one for... We need to get jars of Permutatio, Tembre, and Eider. So to do that, we need to first go to this tab and see what is going to give us those research points. So we need Eider, which is travel. Let's find that one first. What is going to give me Eider? 
Well, we can do portal blocks. That's not going to work. There's no way you can obtain those. I can do rails. I can do saddles. I can do mine carts. And I can do ender pearls. Well, that's funny. I actually have a lot of ender pearls lying around upstairs. So let's go ahead and use those. Uh, let's see here real quick. Ender pearl. Hello, ender pearl. Hmm, where did those go? I literally just had them. Oh, here they are. I was like really confused for a minute. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and throw those. Come on. Come on. There we go. Let's go ahead and throw those into this furnace uh, right here with the sticks. And we'll let it burn for a little bit. And that we need to get eight eiders. So we need to make sure that we have enough. Um, so how much eider is that going to give us? That gives us one, two. And we'll let all this go through for a minute here until this says eight eider. And unless it says eight eider, I'm not going to stop the process. Five eider. Oh, there's already a ton of eider in there. We can actually stop the process now. Let this all drain out, and this actually will work out well. We have actually some alienus and some um, Precanchio, which I'm not sure if we needed either of those things, but I'm sure those are going to become handy down the road. Um, I believe the other thing we needed was Tembrae, but once this... Okay, we have 12 eider. So after, I'm going to quickly go ahead and go back to the tab where we have the mirrors, which is under Artifice, and see what else we needed. We also needed Permutatio and Tembrae. So let's see what can give us Permutatio and Tembrae. So Permutatio is way at the back in the... Oh, well, I went too far. So we might as well look at Tembrae, which actually can be given to us through Obsidian, uh, through these dark seed things, mushrooms, um, dark ores, and so not many things give Tembrae. So we'll have to do that one in a minute. Let's look at the other one, which was Permutatio. can be given to us by... looks like Copper Ore and Hoppers. And, oh, it looks like those uh, flowers you can find by... Um, uh, those white trees. So let's see if we can if we have any copper lying around and we can use that Let's so let's uh, actually before this all dissipates because I think it might over time. Let's get these in jars So let's open this valve What are we gonna get in here? So this is the idea. We're gonna let this fill up to 12 Because we know we have 12 lying around and we're gonna let it sit for a minute here Make sure there's nothing left in the pipes or anything like that Okay, it is completely empty. We are full. Let's close it now. We're gonna open up the next one and this should fill up with uh, one of the other aspects. There we go. And I don't know how much this is supposed to fill up with, but uh, we'll see in a sec. And the alienness is actually already in the pipeline too a little bit, I believe. So we'll let that go. It only had six. If we open up this, is anything going to happen? Probably not because this valve is open. Let's close that. There we go. Now we get the alienness, and that should fill up to four. Oh, no, five. So there was some in the piping. And then... Oh, there's quite a bit in the piping. And now we want to make sure that we have everything out of the pipeline. So to make sure, we're just going to open up this. Make sure there's nothing left. Good. It looks like we got everything out. So we already have 12 of the eider that we need. Now we need to get the rest of it. To get the rest of it, we need to find the other blocks corresponding. So we need copper and we need... Uh, and we need some and mushrooms. We'll do copper and mushrooms. So I'm going to go ahead and get those. And then I'm going to be right back. Because it could take me a little bit to get all that stuff. Okay, everyone, so I think I have everything that we actually need now. I had to do a little bit of research and looking around, but I think I've actually finally found out um, specifically what I need to get. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Uh, what I need to actually finish this up. So I ha I brought eight mushrooms. I, I need eight of each of these, so I don't need the ender pearls anymore, but I'm going to need to use eight copper to be able to get this. So let's start out with actually just using the mushrooms. So we put the mushrooms in here, and we put some sticks in here, because I'm using sticks for now. And we'll put eight sticks, or six in, that should be enough. And this should fill up pretty quickly. Let's make sure one of these is what we're looking for. It should be the green circle. And nope, it looks like the, oh yeah, tembrae. We're looking for tembrae, which is actually this one right here. That's what the mushrooms give us, and we need the eight tembrae. So we look here, this should fill up to eight, correct? Eight. That's what we wanted. So now what we'll do is we'll open some jars until the tembrae comes in and that's going to be the other jar we're going to use today so let's open this up oh is this valve open okay close that valve any other valves open nope so this should be filling up with something oh there we go now it's filling up with herba let it fill up with herba real quick it should yep eight herba sounds about right we'll close that one off let's open up the next one what are we going to get this time there we go. We're getting Ignis in this one, which is actually good. I like getting some of the primal ones in here. This should fill up to eight, so I don't know why it's not filling up to eight right now. It should fill up to eight. Oh, here we go. Five, six. Yeah, we just have to, sometimes it's a little slow getting through the piping, so we just have to give it a minute here to actually get through. Come on, you can do it. Six. 
Maybe if we made this piping not go two different directions, what if we broke the piping here? Maybe that's the issue? And so it only actually heads in one direction around along the walls. That might be the issue here. Um, so if I turn that off, seems to be that there's only six. Let's open it up again. Nope, looks like there's only six. Maybe it'll show up later. Uh, let's open up this one here. Here we go. That This is the main thing I need here, the tembrae. One. No, there's supposed to be like 30,000 of you. I'm so confused. What happened to all of the extra tembrae? Yeah, you can see it's all over the piping. Come on. I know you're here. What happened? I'm so confused. See, it's going to be so much easier when I auto automate this with golems. Oh, that'll be so easy. Now, come on, please. What happened to all my tembrae? Close this one. What is this going to give us? Look, there's the remaining Ignis. It, yeah, it's stuck in the pipelines for some reason. I don't know why it's getting stuck, but it is. Okay, let's keep opening for now. Yeah, there's the remaining Tembrae. It's one Tembrae, two Tembrae, three Tembrae, four Tembrae. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's a lot of Tembrae. That's the remaining six. We got one there. There's still one missing, actually. If we open that up, is that going to get flood in there? I, I'm going to say I'm kind of annoyed. I don't know. Get, probably because I had two chains going. Any Ignis going to get in there? No. But what if I open this valve? Anything going to happen? Oh my god, there's tons of Ignis over this way. You can see it all in the pipelines. So you can see where it is. For some reason, it's getting stuck over here. There's no open valve, so you shouldn't be getting stuck. It's really weird. This is confusing. So it seems like it's... Yeah, you get Ignis in this pipe here. I don't I don't get what's happening. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong with my piping or what. If you guys know, let me know. But um, this is actually going to be much more complex than I thought. But let's move on to the next thing nonetheless. And uh, let's just do it in the middle one. And let's throw in this copper and a bunch of sticks. Um, we're going to need to throw in all this copper and the copper from the different, uh, the different mods here from Thermal Foundation and from the other one. So let this all get through the pipeline real quick. Oh, wait. Something's open, something's open, something's open. A valve? That valve's open. Close, please. There we go. I was wondering why it wasn't going into these. Uh, here we go. So we got some of that, some of that. Now it's all sporadically placed. And we actually need to get um, that. That's what we're looking for right there. Uh, let this all cook for a minute here. Uh, we got a lot of metalum in here. A lot of metalum. So let's put some more. Hopefully this doesn't fill up with metalum because each of these is four metalum. We actually just need to get this number to eight. And that's what's important. And then we need to make sure it fills up with eight. Um, so let's see here. Uh, come on. That's five. Where's the rest of the Permetio or whatever it's called? Permutatio. It could be in the pipelines already, possibly, would be my guess. Let's just try and open up some valves and see what we get. Okay, that's the metalum. We're getting some metalum. But let me guess. It's only going to give me one because it's buggy as crud and doesn't want to work. Yep, I was dead on. It doesn't want to give me any more metalum. We'll get back to that. What about this? Do you want to give me anything special? Oh, you do. Look, there's the remaining tembrae. Or no, that's this is permutatio. Oh, yay. Let's close this. Let's open this one. This is so confusing why this isn't working. This is what I need. I need this stuff. Oh, that valve was open the whole time. That could have been causing a lot of problems. That could be part of my issue. If that valve was open the entire time. That could have been my issues. Okay, so this only gave me three. So what happens to the rest? Like, there's so much that goes missing. It seems like we're losing all... Maybe the pipes leak it out. Is that possible? Are the pipes leaking so that way we don't get everything that I put through? And maybe I have to use um, golems to get all of it. Maybe we're not going to be able to do the infusion today. Because it seems like there's a lot of issues with my... Uh, my plan, and I'm going to have to work on that in the live stream tonight, or, well, yesterday. Yesterday, the live stream that I'm... So, I'm recording this on a Friday, so the live stream's technically tonight, but when you're seeing this, the live stream already happened. So, anyway, it looks like this is going to take a while to get working, guys. Anyway, thank you guys a ton for watching, and uh, let's hope that we can get this fixed. And if you guys know the fix, let me know, and hopefully we can get all this magic stuff sorted out. Thanks a ton for watching, and as always, stay beautiful, and peace out.